the picture I'm showing you right now is my favorite picture of the empowered patient. Uh, she's clearly a, a consumer, not a patient. She's not wired or hooked up in any way. Uh, she's got her Band-Aid on. And what I, used to, what I like to talk about on this slide is that that Band-Aid, I'm sure the person who took this picture thought of it as covering a wound. Uh, we are increasingly seeing things as small as Band-Aids and, and slightly larger than Band-Aids, like the Zio that uh, you guys all have now, uh, starting to be sensors and starting to turn empowered patients into really informed patients and consumers as well, since they have this wealth of data that's now available to them. So the, the trend that I'm going to talk about in sleep and what we're doing in sleep is really broadly applicable across all, all of wellness and all of disease management. Uh, as you see more powerful sensors converging with this e-patient, that's really where the, the magic is starting to happen. So our company didn't start in this larger trend of, you know, how do we measure, how do we monitor e-patient? We started in sleep. And the actual story was I was in a, a basic psychology class with some of my friends at Brown. We heard that if you wake up at the right time in your sleep cycle, you feel more refreshed. So we said, can we build a product that does that? And over time, we realized that there's an even more important function that we can play in the role of sleep. And you know, as a young college student, I was you know, waking up feeling terrible every day because I hadn't slept. But there are actually over 100 million Americans who have trouble with their sleep. Uh, if you look at sleep as an issue, it's the number three health complaint in the United States. Over 65, it's the number two health complaint, with only pain being ahead of it. So it's a, it's a societal issue, and it's one that really doesn't get the weight that it should. And I'll show you some of the reasons why really it should get more weight, uh, and, and that's one of the missions that we have at Zio. If you don't sleep, you will die more quickly. So there are really good studies now that show increased risk of mortality for short sleepers. And you know, that gets worse when you add in hypnotics and tranquilizers. You know, these people are 30 40% more likely to die. Um, and why is that? It's because sleep is related to every major disease class. It's related to cancer. It's related to obesity. It's related to hypertension. It's related to, uh, in this case, immune function. I'll show you some numbers. Uh, you are three times as likely to be susceptible to the common cold when you're a short sleeper. That was a controlled study that was done that people were exposed to the virus three times more likely. And that's because your immune system is basically got you know, the legs cut out from under it. So sleep is really key to your immune function. Um, this is one of my favorites because it's really surprising. 40% uh, of mood-related disorders have pre-existing insomnia. So it, sleep starts and a mood disorder you know, is what they actually present to the doctor for. Uh, and you're four times more likely to have a depression relapse if you're comorbid with insomnia. So there's a huge link between sleep and all these disease classes. On the mental health angle, um, we spoke to a major stress institute recently, and you know, we, you know, we asked them, you know, what, are the, what are the major things that you know, people can do to reduce stress, because it's clearly a, a major issue, and it's, and it's also comorbid. Um, they actually said sleep was the largest factor, and they said it because basically you're able to control your stress, and it's very hard to change your life to remove stress. Uh, they'll see, you know, night after night, um, you're okay, you're coping with your stress. You're okay, you're coping with your stress. It's still there, but you're coping. The first night that you don't sleep well, stress starts to affect you much more seriously. So they said, if you want to solve stress, back it up to sleep. And that's increasingly becoming clear from the literature and the research. So sleep is a, is a really important topic uh, for patients and for consumers. So what have we done to help in this area? So the, the Zia that you guys all have, uh, my ZQ is 85 last night. I'm hoping some of you guys tried it out and have some ZQ scores of your own. It's this lightweight headband, which shows you for the first time your quality of sleep that last night. It gives you REM sleep. It gives you deep sleep. Those are important for your mind and your body. It gives you how many times you woke up. And it gives you that single number, ZQ, that really represents your quality of sleep last night. Uh, and the innovation there is that sensor, that headband sensor, that actually measures your brain waves. Uh, that's what we invented and what we brought to market with this product. On the right side, you see 
really where more value comes into the equation because measurement is important and it's interesting, but it's not the whole story. The minute that we give people this tool, they say, what can I do to actually make improvements? I love the data, it's interesting, tell me what to do. Uh, so we've designed a interactive website that allows you to connect cause and effect between your lifestyle and your sleep. And we've designed a coaching program that actually takes your lifestyle and your sleep and gives you specific recommendations like try a night where you kick the dog out of the bed or why don't you, you know, fade caffeine for the next week and see how that affects your deep sleep. So I encourage everyone to uh, not only try Zio but also interact with uh, the really interesting web tools that we have. And again, you're going to see this happening across many disease states and across many wellness conditions. Uh, I also want you guys to download the new iPhone app that we have. We launched one this summer. Um, your Zio now, your data will show up on the iPhone, and it's a beautiful way to interact with and share your data. So check that out as well. I'm going to share with you today a little bit of our business vision, and this is actually new news. Um, I've never spoken about this publicly before. Um, we, th we think that measurement is just the start, and to help those 100 million people sleep, we're combining measurement with data and community to create what we're sort of loosely calling our internal code name is the Sleep Hub. And it's a place where you go to get help with your sleep. It's not only Zeo customers, it's not only consumers, it's I have an issue with sleep, I go to this place where I get great content, great community, but you pair that content and community, which is sort of Web 1.0, there's tons of that out there, with the data and the guidance that people actually want and need to make real changes in their lives. So you'll be seeing over the course of the next year, we're, we're going to roll out uh, some really powerful services and content and community on the web, both to augment our devices, but also to start helping people who may not have a Zio, uh, but still have real sleep issues.